Welcome to the toy box. This is Trix. We're gonna showcase one match. Um, me and an old squad member, Crimson, got together, and Crimson is the reason why I started running Flashbang. And you're gonna see why in this match. We're just gonna hop right into it. So, one of the things about this match that made it interesting was, is we're going up against the Oni, and as you're about to see here pretty soon, we're about to get a huge disadvantage in the game. So, prepping my flashbang. And for whatever reason, one of our teammates just decided to DC. So now we are a three versus one with five gens still remaining. So we try to play our roles. I figure, okay, I guess I'll try to loop. Seeing as I have Crimson here from my backup. And I picked the worst path right there. There is nothing there. And now here goes Crimson getting his flashbang ready. Unfortunately, no time to heal. Now, I haven't had an opportunity to play the Oni yet, but from my understanding, um, he's got like not only the ability to, to track you down with your scratch marks, but those blood orbs as well. As he's collecting them, he kind of has a general idea of where you're going. Uh, yep, bad choice for me there. But thankfully, here comes Crimson. Yes, he did. <laughs> nice. And the best part is, is he's not done yet. Now it did suck because originally my intentions were to use this jungle gym and then I heard our other little person, our other random, he was there on a gen and it seemed like Oni had radar for any time I started touching a gen, because as soon as I would try to get on a gen, he was right in my general direction. Knowing that we're at a 3v1, we knew we had to try to protect each other. And I don't know why I didn't vault that window. But thankfully, breakout kicks in, so my haste effect picks up, and so does her wiggle progress. Now, if I had known that that was going to be my only flashbang for the game, I would have held it there. I tried to use it as a blind, but I missed the blind. Oh, <laughs> really? Again? 
And the best part about that was, is that's flashbang number two in the exact same spot. I need somewhere to go. I got nothing over here. Poor Michaela, I didn't know that she was there, but thankfully, he decided to come after me. Come there. <laughs> if he, gets a, he gets three. He got three. And now you guys are slowly seeing why Crimson is one of the best people I know with Flashbang. Oh, missed that one. Now, I was able to use those blood orbs to my advantage here and have like really good distance when it came to confusing him here at Shaq. If I had slow vaulted that, I probably could have like kept him even more confused for longer over here. Now, I did forget to look oh, behind me to it. look Come at his stain, because the best thing about Shaq is, is if you tr angle your camera down, you can actually see his stain through the slats, so it's a whole lot easier to uh, not fall for the mind games, but sometimes you just get involved and are more focused on your past than you are his stain. That's another moment. I should have held my sabotage until he actually picked up and then I would have been able to at least get this hook right here. I don't have a flashbang. And he was so scared of getting flashbanged at that point that he moonwalked it to that hook. And like I said, it's like he had a radar for every time I touched a generator. I was not allowed to work on gens in this match. Now, another interesting little thing that I found out, or and I don't know if it's just oh, me and I'm imagining it, or if it actually really works, but when you have head a headset on and you turn your camera angle side to side, you can, it's almost like you hear the terror radius um, increase a little bit. So a lot of times, like when you're trying to do your looping, if you have a headset on, you don't always have to look completely behind you so you don't like mess up your path. You can do kind of like a side turn and listen for the terror radius. And like I started picking that up with playing Killer because with Killer, 
it actually um you need that headset because like every tiny sound helps you out and it like comes in a direction Finally, oh, I missed my managed to get all five gens done on a 3v1 <laughs> to top it off with flashbang number four. <laughs> That's four. That is four. Exit gates and the escape. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.